today we're looking at uh, Little Monkey Apps Teaching Money. Alright, so this app is all about teaching money. We have um, teacher notes up here. Um, basically that's what I'm saying today. And we have three currencies at present, Australian, UK, US. And a settings mode there. Um, so it's like saying, oh, it says always start on tails, start on either heads or tails. So that's for your coins. I've um, put on tails. Um, to navigate the, the different activities, um, you can press left and right. Let's start with the teaching tool and then click start or you can click there. Alright, so we've got some notes here. And the coins, so you can use this as a, a virtual money. I always found in the classroom that um, I never had enough of a certain set of coin. Um, so you can um, ask the students to make a dollar. There you go, that's one way. That's two ways. You get the idea. Um, so then you can circle them. And um, take a photo, etc. Raise it, change the colour, all those sorts of things. Anything that you'd usually do with the coins, use worded problems or work cooperatively. Uh, let's have a look at the next one. Sorting. I enjoy doing this one in the classroom with real money or with your, or your plastic money or laminated money. Just another way of presenting it. Um, so sorting them into there you go, I've got a little star. I can go up to level two, which is notes. Up to level three, notes and coins. So it begins with coins, notes, coins and notes. Um, and once you reach ten stars it asks you do you want to play again or go back to the menu. Um, piggy bank. This game, well it's not really a game, this activity asks you can put money into the piggy bank and it adds it up for you. Um, oops, sorry. Um, th this activity is not prescriptive so it's best to use the teacher model. Or you can just ask children to um, put the coin notes in, adds it up for you. Um, what's the quickest way you can get you can play games? Like what's the quickest way to get to 185? Or you can have written problems. Or um, another activity you can do is ask one student to put the coins in when you shake him. Um, see what coins and notes come out. So there they are there. Oh, putting them back in now. <laughs> and then I'll try and do something a little bit more interesting. So one partner could put in five dollars and ten cents. Can you guess? Um, what I've put in. I'm double tapping to shake um, but you can use the shake um, you shake the iPad to do that um, that's a good partner activity um, let's go to the toy store so um, it's asking a written question which two toys can I buy for $10 there you go I can buy those ones well done me Got a star. Which two toys can I buy for $14? Uh, let's get it wrong. Too expensive. Okay, and select. Which two toys can I buy? Eight and six. Well done, me. I can move up a level. Um, so it goes up to 50 cent increments. Um, level three, 10 cent increments. Um, five cent increments and it keeps going up to the number gets higher and higher. Um, as mentioned in my teacher notes we went up to level nine because a particular student of mine was quite adept at uh, adding money and he needed the challenge. You might have one of those in your classroom but it does get, uh, for instance, I couldn't do that in my head, um, not without guessing. No, too cheap. Um, you can also talk about estimation. I found some children um, said, well, if those are too cheap, I can pick more expensive ones. Let's try those ones. No, too expensive. Take that one out. Get a cheaper one. Too ex oh, that wasn't cheaper. Too expensive. So 
but obviously it would take time to do that. Um, etc. As I said, too hard for me to do with um, in my head, but I did have a student who was quite quite good at doing that. Um, giving change. So once again, written uh, pictorial. So I, the card costs one dollars, and I have two dollars. There's your two dollars there. Um, how much change do I get? I get one dollar change. Well done, me. And the drum costs two dollars. I have ten dollars, so eight dollars change. I can go. And obviously, it accepts whatever um, coins you catch. So that's the level one. Level two goes to 50, 50 cent increments. Um, level three goes to um, 20 cent increments. Gets a little bit more tricky here. Keeps going up to level five there. So that one goes up to $20, whereas this one goes up to $10. Um, show me. Alright, so this is asking you two ways of making the same amount. Um, obviously I can make it that way. And I can make it that way. This is another activity I like to do with partners using coins and laminated notes. $2. Um, up to $10. Up to $20. Fifty dollars there. Um, just get it right this second, not the star. And of course, you could do that with the coins as well. You could do that with the coins as well. Um, so now back to the teacher tool. So as I said, you can choose which currency you'd like. Don't forget to have a look at the teacher notes if uh, you don't enjoy my ramblings. And uh, there's some ideas in there about how to do these activities without the iPad, little monkey apps teaching money.